been in San Francisco loads of times, so I know how to navigate the streets, you know. Man, I've got his bike sorted. Look, I like to see America in a cool way. Love like Sons Anarchy and stuff like that, so I've rented us a couple of bikes. Nyung <laughs> nyung! Hells Angels. I will navigate these high seas with Google Maps. <laughs> it's every singer of us. Sitting on the docks in the bay. <laughs> Room for a motherfucker. Whee! Sun's high in the sky. Right now we're gonna bike over to Sausalito. We're gonna cross the world's most famous bridge, which is bollocks because the Lagan Bridge is well more famous. Golden Gate Bridge, we're gonna bike across there, go to a wee place called Sausalito, very mm -hmm. sexy. We're gonna have our lunch there. I'm gonna go over my set for tonight. Then we're gonna get the ferry back, quick shower, and we're gonna do the show in Cobb's Comedy Club. San Francisco, you've blessed us with a lovely day. Let's ride. Have you just been, have you found Sausalito or anything? Yeah, yeah. It's good, isn't it? Just like the van. Are we going to get the ferry back? Yeah, we got a taxi. Take the weights all off and put them in the taxi. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm looking forward to the show tonight. Yeah, see you, see you there. Yeah, should be good. Oh, What's your name again? Ian. 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 Alright. See you later. Cheerio. All the best. Bye. Everyone knows me here. Everybody in San Francisco knows me. I think we'll go this way. Burger time. What time is it? My main goal for this trip is to make it worthwhile. You know, in terms of coming out of it and going, right, I'm building the foundations for something here. You know, at home and the UK and Ireland shows, I can see the growth in the shows and I know year after year, I can ideally go back to bigger venues and, and keep sort of scaling that up. And I'd love to do that over here, but I need to just go put on a tour, see how it sells. Like San Francisco here, I think I've sold about 130, so I go right, that's a real good starting place and I can build it up. But there might be a show I do and go, well, there's a dozen people at this, so it's not worth my time. I've got to weigh my time against being away from family, you know, being out of the house. I'm only going to go and do shows if it's something worthwhile and it's important in my career. So I suppose the goal is do good shows, first and foremost, entertain the crowd and just see where I stand out here in the States. If I come out here and do this tour and it absolutely doesn't work and nobody shows up, it'll be a nightmare. I've lost a good bit of money, but I'll be able to say I gave it a go. I either learn I can do a tour in America and people come to it and there's a future for me doing that, or I learn that America hates me, nobody comes to the shows and I get beat up. No time for pictures, sir. Thank you very much. I'm actually really nervous. I don't really get nervous anymore, but be nervous now. I'm also nervous because I don't really think I can get a nice wee cup of tea beforehand, so I don't think I'll be settled as it could be. Going to Cobb's Comedy Club. Pretty legendary comedy club here in San Francisco. Doing my show. I've got a couple of local openers on. They're going to do half an hour to start. And then I'm on doing an hour long show, which is just kind of going to be a greatest hits. I'm going to take like the last three shows and put them together and pick out what I think are the best bits. And I'm also trying not to do any like Irish stuff, if you want to call it that, or Belfast stuff, because I think it will be a pretty mixed crowd. So it'll be a wee bit of everything from your uncle Shane. Got your coffee, mate. How's it going, guys? How are you? Hey, how's it going, Shane? Nicholas, how are you? Nicholas, uh, this is Niall. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up? Before we get started, can I get you a menu or something different? Um, 
A menu would be great. I'm okay. I'll just have water. Water's fine with me. You okay with water? Yeah. Yeah, water's good. What a nice guy. Got a wee fridge. Is everything in there? Of wait? Here, hold on, I get a pump ball. Have you any thought? Don't even know if I could buy shit out of my crew, I suppose. Yeah! That's me. Glad to go on my request. Oh, we're getting some iron in. Bill, Bill, Bill. I'll maybe get up on this. Are you from home, but you work in tech out here? You fucking made it, man. <laughs> you made it. He works in the canteen of Microsoft, but he's the richest man in Northern Ireland. I love that. I really, really, really enjoyed it. And I like that there was sort of 50-50, people from home, people from here and different places. It's just so much fun. There was actually a moment where during my set, I turned around for some reason and saw the like clubs, comedy clubs sang. Like, this is a place I hear comedians talking about on podcasts that I listen to. You know, they play it all the time, they come to a weekend here. And just to do one show here it was unreal. Half seven flight to LA tomorrow morning. But I'm pumped. Went down, met a load of people there after the show, did a lot of photos. Really good. Really good. I like it. I like it. I'm gonna have a water. Very good, boy. Thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate it. And uh, staff and all great. Thank you. We'll be back. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks so much. Oh, man. See you next year. See you next year. Yeah, I'll be here. Front office, front office 69 on Instagram. It's 5.30 in the morning. We gotta go and catch a flight to LA. I am absolutely not hurt. I'm trying to find enthusiasm. Hollywood to Hollywood. She's gonna check into the hotel, get her bearings. No show tonight, we're gonna to try and pick up a few spots in some of the clubs. If not, just gonna go and watch some comedy, but feels good to be back here. I think it's my fifth time here. I like it. You can show you around because you haven't seen a lot of the sights. I land some. Look at this. Who's that celebrity I see over there? Is that DJ Callas? Oh my god, is that Blazing Squad? Holy shit, is that King of the Hill? Is that Gareth Gates? It actually is Gareth. Going from one Hollywood to another. City of Angels, San Francisco was a complete blast. But I knew there was a lot of people going to the show in San Francisco. Tomorrow for LA, I've sold 22 tickets out of a 55 seater venue. It's not that bad because it's, it's a small venue anyway. But I really, really want to sell at least 40. If I could do 40, I think it would feel like a full room. Just spent this morning, took a few hours, editing a clip from San Fran last night, putting it up. Just trying to push LA a wee bit more. But buzzing to be here, like this is the comedy capital of the world. It's so cloudy. I don't like that. I'm gonna ask Soltor how my tour is gonna go. You must live your days as if they were your last. Because one day they will be. You know what I mean. So go on, have fun, and surrender more cash for more wisdom from the great Zoltar. Yeah, good man, Zoltar. Cheers, that. That's just what I needed. I think he said just like live every day as if it's your last. I think he might have just threatened to kill me. You know, I've got a gig tomorrow night at the Hollywood Improv, it's my own show. But before that, I've got another gig. You ready for this? You ready for this? I'm ready. The Comedy Store? Yeah! <laughs> high five's all right now, I know you're filming, but give me a high five. Can you, I know it's, is it safe for you to give me a high five while driving? Brilliant. <laughs> yeah.
Brilliant. This is the best. Comedy store tomorrow night. <laughs> Wild. Genuine life's ambition. 10 minute spot at 10 past 8. Oh, what am I gonna do? What material am I gonna do? What am I gonna wear? Should I shave my head? I don't know what to do. <laughs> is it not? LA, what's happening? As you guys can tell by my accent, I am cute. Um, I just want a cup of tea and everyone's like, I, we don't know what you're saying, but good luck on your quest to get whatever. I was like, it's just, just tea. We have a saying in comedy, which is you edit, and I edit last night. Now sometimes eating stuff's good, like I'm eating this lovely almond butter and fruit compote, and it's delicious. But when in comedy someone says you edit, what that means is you ate shit. And I ate shit last night at half past midnight as the audience were leaving. It was weird because I did a guest spot last night in the big room in the Hollywood Improv last night after Tim Dillon and those are really good comics. And back home, like the best comic goes on last. But out here, they kind of just run the comedy. So once the main event is over, if there's a couple of comedians about, they'll just stick them on. And it's kind of like if people want to stay, great. If they want to leave, no problem. Some people were leaving. I went on at about 20 to 1 and it was really tough. It's almost like they didn't know who I was. I would say I had a starter main and a paratif. Not ideal prep for tonight where I'm gonna do the comedy store. The most nervous I've ever felt for a gig and I've got my own solo show in LA after and I'm not as nervous as I am for the 10 minute spot in the comedy store. So I need to get it out of my own head about last night and just put that down to it was a shitty spot to go on and, and I knew what I was getting into and just get focused for tonight. We're going to go out with my mate Jack. Jack's going to show us about LA. He's very kindly done this every time I've been over to LA. So let's get a tan, let's sightsee and let's really get a connection going with this city. Yummy. This is Ube. Hey, well, Jack, what is Ube? Purple Japanese sweet potato. I'll be honest, if I knew it was sweet potato, I would not have got it. Should you tell me it's a sweet potato ice cream? Way nicer than I thought it would be. I know, right? Sweet potato? Yeah, nice. I think last night probably has sunk in a wee bit, a wee bit quicker than I thought it would. It's just a like a bubble out here. Everyone is trying to do something. I just had a ball last night at both of the shows and just woke up just so happy. Seeing you know a couple of photos from the show and getting a few messages from people who were there. Then at the comedy store there was a friend of a friend who just happened to be there. One of like the 40 people that were in the audience. So he sent my friend a photo of me and said, did not expect to see Shane on last night. So that was mad that there was somebody from home there. I do feel very, very far away from home. I mean, I know I am, but it does feel like it's own world here. LA in particular, San Fran actually felt a little bit like home, but LA is just definitely its own world. It gives me the thirst for more. So I always say I'm never gonna be based anywhere else, and that's 100% true. But I think when I come back to the States, I definitely like to focus on LA, because the amount of stand-up is great. I know it's the same with New York, but like, take Amir who opened for me last night. He had just come from two shows, and then he had two shows after. That's that's just the thing that you can't buy at home. If you have three shows in a week at home, you're the busiest comedian in Northern Ireland. Also, let me just point out, this Hollywood, as amazing as it is, does not compare to my Hollywood. I mean that. It's good and all here. In fact, it's unbelievable. It's not as unbelievable as Hollywood County now. If we're gonna cap LA off with an In-N-Out Burger on Sunset Boulevard. <sighs> oh, mommy. I think we're gonna try and do that, Mount Hollywood. Sounds a little Irish to me. You got it? Most people say Australian, German, nah, nah, I just met Spanish. A, I just met a girl from Scotland. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> And I told her a funny story. Years ago, I was in Copenhagen, Denmark. Yeah. At a club, and there was a Scottish guy in there. And he was going on and on, and I didn't understand half of what he was saying. 
But then I said to him, well, you know, because of you British guys, he turned red in the face. <laughs> I didn't understand a word he said after that. But somebody said it wasn't nice. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be careful. <laughs> I said, I, I didn't know I was offending him. He said, British, we're here, we're here, we're here. What in the hell is he talking about? Yeah, we have a complicated national identity. Right, he was pissed. I said, okay, I know, I know how you're gonna vote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I saw Braveheart. That's me running the Honolulu Marathon. Oh, why? Walter, you get a bite. Huh? You get a bite. You get a bite. What do you mean to get a... Oh yes, I do. I do. You, why are you here? First, in my stand-up comedy tour. Oh really? Yep. You doing some clubs in LA? So last night I did the comedy store and the improv. Tonight I'm doing the improv again. Wow. So we started in San Francisco a couple of days ago. LA now. And then I go to Chicago, Washington, New York. Who booked it for you? Just my, my agent. I mean, it's, it's a small tour. Like last night it was like 55 people, but... It was cool. That's how you start. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I, so I met all those guys who are comedians. I said, I've been to places just a handful of people. Nobody applauded. He said, you got to go through that stuff. Here. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm from a town in Ireland called Hollywood, but spelled with one L. Oh, yeah. H-O-L-Y-W-O-D. So it's Hollywood the Hollywood. It's Hollywood the Hollywood. <laughs> so you got some good Irish stuff you tell them about that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because that's the best comedy, the stuff you really know, making fun of stuff that yeah, they may yeah. know something about. Yeah, of course, of course. Sean, Sean. Sheen. Sheen. Go with Sean, I'll take Sean. <laughs> this is coming to you guys. I'll take Joe, what's your wish, what's your dream? Keep doing stand-up to provide for my family through stand-up, because it's my dream job. And I guess to come over here, keep building up the following here, building up the shows. And then eventually, I want to do a show somewhere like, what's the outdoor, the Greek, is, it, is that the outdoor theatre here? Greek theatre's right down there. The Greek theatre, that's what I'm going to do. Give me five years. Wow, do you have you done stuff in London? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh really? Hey, I met him. I met him before he became real famous. No, Walter, I'm don't forget. Don't forget me now. When you get real famous, Walter, now, I'm never gonna forget. When he gets real famous, I'm gonna say, I knew that guy. Man, he said, I don't know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know me. He's just. <laughs> it's Walter, nice to meet you, guy. Great to meet you. Good luck to you, man. Thank you so much, you too. In the future, I want to see. I met that guy a long time ago. I'll give you tickets for the Great Theater Show. And I live right near here too. Perfect. Have a good one, guy. Cheers, Walter. Take care. Thanks. Did I just agree to do the Greek theater in five years? <laughs> it's a challenge. It's a hill. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go keep push it, and I'll be running up that hill. Bring up Walter. And here, in front of school. I'm at I'm airports. It's mad when you come up here, you get the scale of this whole place. And actually, when you come up here, it doesn't look as big and imposing as you think it is. You, know, you come up here, you see it's a bit more spread out. And when you're down there, you're almost like in a bubble. Whereas up here, I don't know, you just get to quantify it a wee bit more. It's beautiful. No cave hill, like, but it's... I'm in LA, I'm just about to go and play the biggest comedy club in the world. Uh, up until one minute ago, yes. I, <laughs> <laughs> I thought those guys have been absolutely lovely. Thank you so much for having me. Really appreciate it. We're going to go to the next anthem. Let's take it. Hey, gentlemen, welcome to the show. Let's go, Chrissy! I just had the best time. It was such a weird feeling because I didn't feel nervous. I just thought, you know what, I'm going to enjoy this. Although I just had what I think is such a huge moment in not just my career, but my life there. As mad as it sounds, just going to do a 10-minute stand-up spot. I just thought, you know what, there's actually not... This isn't make or break, like there's nothing riding on this. If I have a great set, if I have a terrible set, it's a comedy store, it's just a small moment of the night in there, in one of the three venues. But I just had a ball. I had a great set, I loved it. It was a small crowd, I'd say there was about 40 people there. Can't go anywhere. I'm so pumped now for my show, and I'm just walking out and look at the names on the wall. Because I've got everybody's name up there, Richard Pryor, Robin Williams, everybody. 
and I'm gonna get a sharpie and write my own. <laughs> You look like you cut down wood and not even for fires. Uh, what's your name? David. David. David, don't take us the wrong way. I'm a married guy, but I see me in a log cabin in autumn looking out a window and you're just in a flannel shirt. Just You're not in a flannel shirt. You're not in a shirt and I'm wearing your flannel shirt and it's all, bi it's all, it's all big in me and all. It's all too big. David, what part of America are you from? We're from San Diego. San Diego? I love San Diego. Gaslamp District? Uh, no, no, I just mean that's the only place I know. Sorry. <laughs> I fucked it with David. Oh, no. Where did you say you're from? Yes, we're close to Aaron? I was not talking to you. I always process gigs and events on a delay. Sometimes like an hour later, sometimes a day or a week later. I think this one will take a while to sink in. It's 55 people, but... It's huge to me. Like, you, you almost get shit for uh, expressing how much things mean to you. You know, you can be cool about things, but I'm getting a FaceTime now from my wife and I'm gonna see my boys. It's daddy. Uh, can daddy have a kiss? Can, da can daddy have a kiss? Give daddy a kiss. Uh, he wants to show you his remote. Oh, that's a good remote. Where does daddy love you to? The moon. Uh, it's a weird feeling to be like top of the world with this after these shows, but then only craving just actually being on the sofa with them when I'm watching them on FaceTime. So I don't think I could ever get used to being a comedian who's always on the road and away from home. I like the idea of doing trips like this that blow my mind and they're such a novelty, a novelty to me. But, um, and this is dream job, getting to do all this, but um, I'm gonna say this, and then I'm gonna get up and walk out of shop, but the, the, while all this is dream stuff, the real dream stuff, being at home. Burger Santa is here. Am I in focus? Yeah, you're in focus. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? H and D media moving image. Bush. Forget about it. <laughs> Out of ten. Ten. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's unreal. Here in Zany's Comedy Club in Chicago, Shy Town as we call it here, amongst the locals. Like this is again one of those clubs I hear my favourite comedians talk about in podcasts. They're doing a weekend in Zany's, they're doing a run of show in Zany's and like everybody has played here. Jim Gaffigan, Mark Normand, Jeff Ross, these are just the ones catching my eye here. Shout out Bill Burr, who opened for on tour before. Ah, another close personal friend, Kev. Might give me a Kev heart. 24 shows, return my calls Kev for sure. Everybody's done it. And it's a wee bit intimidating maybe when you go down into the main room and you just see the portraits of all the biggest comedians of all time on the walls looking at you, judging you. Just like a big painting of Jerry Seinfeld. Like, like, are you sure? Are you sure you're good? Richard Pryor, Robin Williams, all that. It's just, it's steeped in history. There's Norm Macdonald over there. It's very cool. Very, very cool. I'm excited, this is a halfway point of the tour. It's been great. I think we've got about 120 coming tonight. The venue holds 150. My goal was 80. So I'm happy with that. We've enough people to do a show. Like by the midwives, like. Oh. Genuinely, I thought that was a drive by. I'm already. <laughs> I'm already on edge here. I, in my head, I was like, that would be so terrible if I got shot dead in Chicago. But, but, that would be such a cool story to tell back home. Oh my God. My mom's like, cheer about our Shane. He got, he got capped. He got capped. 
He got capped in Shy Town. I have such a connection to this city. Because whenever I was a kid, I actually used to eat Chicago Town frozen pizzas. Better than all the tour shows so far. I've been selling out LA, selling out Chicago, selling out New York. Cornhole, third toss. Boop, Jordan. That's been a spring on my step today. Just found out I'm doing a spot tonight in a place called The Comedy Bar. Some of the local comics have been talking to them on Instagram, telling me about She so just dropped them a message, slid into their DMs and said, you guys up? And they said, what do you need? Any sort of spot, five minutes, seven minutes, because I really want to make the most of being here. And the tour shows are obviously amazing, but I want to see the comedy clubs too. You know, it's like back home. Brilliant to do tour, do the Opera House. SSA Arena, that, that scale of gigs, but it's just as fun dropping into a wee sweaty comedy club where nobody nobody knows you. So, gonna do a set tonight, see what the scene here is like, and that should be really fun. So, buzz with that. Thank you very much. Right, so if I hit it, where am I trying to go there? <laughs> Would you run a marathon every weekend? No, I'm practical. I heard some no's in there. Would you make your buildings taller or larger? No. Uh, no, I uh, no's and yeses on that one as well. See this building on the left? It's got a big dome on top and has little temples on the corners. You actually see a close-up example of those temples on the top left right here. It would need. Sounds pretty modern idea. We're building with a lot of services, right? A lot of early tall buildings here. They all look like this. So I just did a set at the comedy bar, one of the clubs in town. A lot of fun to do a talk show after with the MC. Jay, thanks for doing the show, man. It's good to have you out here. Thanks for having me. Like it was a good start, it was an even better finish. I really liked that, that's great. I, that's always my aim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was great. Really, really enjoyed that. Brilliant way to end the time in Chicago. Had a ball here, excellent city. Now, how many dates are you doing right now in the States? Um, I am doing about seven shows. This has not been cost effective. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at all. This is very, very cool. I got the first check. 25 bucks, 25 bucks first paid stand-up spot in a club out here, so I almost feel like I want to frame this. I've been doing stand-up for like 15 years, despite looking like, like a 17-year-old <laughs> female Russian gymnast. I... <laughs> I'm not cash it. That is exactly what I'm going to do. This is such a cool feeling. I love, I love Irish comedy, especially like sitcoms. You were talking about yeah. Seinfeld, but you guys have a really great show called Father Ted. Yeah. Did I think I was in that? Were you really? No. Ah, uh, oh, no. see, <laughs> fuck you, no! You know what? Maybe we should, maybe we should cash it. Just take a 25 bucks and just go on a spending spree. Just broke, because we need to get toothpaste. So we get toothpaste, milk, and a few waters. Brilliant. I'm going to frame this. Cool moment. Chicago. It's been a ball. I've loved it. Brilliant city. I'll definitely be back. We gotta go to Washington DC early in the morning. Joey Biden, we're coming, brother. Healthy. Make room for all the pension out. You know me. Chug, 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 fine, fine, fine. We're about three hours away from showtime here, DC. You can sort of feel that someone very important is in town. You know, there's like a lot of security presence. I've heard people be like, oh, do you think he's in town today? A lot of tourists about, so they obviously know I'm here. So let's just hope we have a good show. This, uh, this might be the lowest audience number that we have in. But I'm excited, this, this Washington DC, this is, this is where it's at. I've sent an invite to Joey B to come down to the show as well. God knows what politicians will have in. Bureaucrats, liberal, I, I don't know anything about America. I don't know anything about politics in general. Let's just take it in. This is the president's house, as it's officially known. The White House. 
I know that at least, I don't know anything else about here. That is the White House, where I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Justin Bieber lives. Is it sexy here? Seven tonight, DC Comedy Loft. <laughs> Cheers, boys. <laughs> He's just going around in these trying to No, we see. Yes! No, that's perfect. No, it's not, it's fine. You're heard of me, like, yeah. Oh, I'm going to your show. Are you? You're not going to the one tonight? I was going to, but my friend bought me tickets. Imagine as a camera, you're just going to do Right, so it's all I do. Right, yeah, like kick off and then just sweep up. Okay. Yeah, and then you'll go. I'm not going. No, push the button. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Sorry. No, worries. Thank no you're quite alright. Oh See you guys. So, guys, here we have them. The famous steps. Rocky. Rock over Don't think I had a great one there. We used to go to school together. Yep. That's mad, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck the next hour. What, what have you been up to? <laughs> and I'm pissed off because if you don't have a great one at home, or you don't have, a, or you have a show where you feel like you could have performed better, or anything like that. You can just go back to that place like the next night or the next time it's on. Whereas here, I can't. Gotta go to New York tomorrow. And I think getting great feedback at the end and I think people enjoyed the show, but I just know I could have done it better or delivered it better or I wasn't firing on all cylinders. Your trainer? Yeah. What do you, who do you train? Perfect. Train Biden? No. No? <laughs> his dentist. His, you train his dentist? Yeah. <laughs> Let me just take the show. <laughs> no, I can be so much better than that. You you do PT work? Yep. Okay. And one of your clients, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> it's Joe Biden's dentist. <laughs> do you know what you should do? Cool. Just stop at Joe Biden. Just lie and say it's Biden. <laughs> Ahead of New York, that's given me a bit of a bit of a reality check. You know, because I've been spoiled. I've had the best, the best shows out here. And tonight, I just, I just wasn't at the races. It was definitely me. Crowd were lovely. I just wasn't my normal self. This <laughs> is like somewhere during the storm of the capital, people would have hidden. This is like, <laughs> like the millionaires came down here. Don't know, don't know. And now I'm missing home, loads. Buzzing for the New York shows, but then and I'm also sort of glad that it's like the last stop. And then, and then I go home and see my family. <laughs> Slot at 9.05 at the stand, but the MC brought somebody else up instead. Like the guy running the show tried to help me out. It was a mix up. I got cut from that show. It happens. Now I run away to New York Comedy Club to do a 9.30 slot. Google Maps tells me I'm going to get there at 9.27. I'm doing a 15 minute slot, which gives me 15 minutes to get back to the stand, which should give me two minutes leeway. Doing three spots tonight. This is comedy in New York. Who knows? I might miss every single one. It's 10 o'clock on the dot. Just about sort of made it round. I think I got a second wind as well, even if I'm out of breath here, I'm gonna feel good about it. The stand from the best family club in New York. Fast people. Have you been? Maybe one day. That's mad to give it that much height and you've never been. 
got to do three sets tonight, two at the stand and one at New York Comedy Club. I implemented the things I wanted to as well. You know, first set I thought was all right, but I wanted to change it up and changing the opening bit of the set really worked. And the last two sets were great. So we'll pack loads into your day. We've got a football too. Cheeky. Let's go a few goals. That's the most American thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It's a solo show in the stand. Amazing to actually go in again and play that room. Played a couple of times before, but good just to get familiar with it. And I'm buzzing that that's going to be packed for me. Right. Gonna hit the Welcome to this bonus episode of the Tea With Me podcast. We're in, what do you, what's it, the Times Square? Times Square. I wanted to get out of Ireland, if I'm honest. Oh yeah? Yeah. Have you done something bad? Yeah, I murdered a family of five. Are you gonna put water on it or are you gonna do it dry? You can't go with water. 100% water. Can't go dry. Yeah. Yeah. Dry would smear. Dude, it's okay. absolutely amazing. He's got a podcast called Tea With Me, guys. Get your hands coming, guys. Get up, get up for Shane Todd. Oh, you! I like the way you pre sprayed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then let it set in. This is going to be so therapeutic. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult country to get into. I don't know if you've been in Dublin Airport and just seen a line of 50 people getting ready to lie. Just. <laughs> okay, and then i got to say that. And then, sweet. What's the purpose of your visit? Um, okay, 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 okay. Come on. All right, ready? Come on, Chris. Where about you from? Long Island? Ice teas. <laughs> I've got the local knowledge. Anyone else from America? No. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Rhode Island? Fucking. <laughs> Ice teas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> oh, I used the whole bottle there. That's, that's... Actually, that's done a great job. It has. Guys, you've been unbelievable. Thank you so much for coming to the show. I'm a chain talk. Good night. My time in America is at a close here on this trip. Flying home today, back to Dublin. I acted the big man in Chicago, said I could probably play pro baseball in the MLB. Let me prove it. This feels like a bit of me. A few dingers coming up. Definitely mixed feelings. I I could not have enjoyed this tour anymore. Does that look sweet? All the people that came out to the shows were just so brilliant as an audience and then chatting to people after and I just I just really felt the love and I'm so lucky to have a, a following of people of the size where I can put on shows somewhere like here and they'll come out to it. Where do I stand? Nope. Really just been blown away and it's made me want to do so much more out here and definitely, definitely going to do a tour next year. I was talking to Chris who booked my New York shows on the way home last night about maybe doing somewhere a little bit bigger next year and that, that, that excites me so much. I love this. Went better than I thought it could have done. Travel was a bit tiring because I tried to pack as much in as I could because I didn't want to be away from home longer than I had to be. And that's the other side of it. That's the bit that has been really difficult, kind of being like a FaceTime da. You know, even though it's two weeks, I know it doesn't sound like a lot and I'm aware that there's people who work on oil rigs and work in different countries because they have to, but I've never had to do that before. It really found, I'm getting a round of applause here, really have found that tough, but it's made me really excited to get home and I can't wait to drive into the driveway and open the door and just hug and kiss my sons and my wife. It's maybe like a bit of a shift in my career. I don't know, I just feel like if you were a footballer, you would say you're in a good moment. I feel like I'm in a good moment. I'm excited to get back on stage at home as well. America, it's been a blast. We've gone from Hollywood to Hollywood, and I'll be back. Cheers.
without further